Throwback to the 22nd of December 2021. In this vlog, I will be like a storytelling style because the day that I finished editing this video, I uploaded it onto YouTube as an unlisted video and then I was watching it and then I realized I forgot to change some mistakes in the subtitles so I deleted the video on YouTube and then I realized I deleted the footage on iMovie as well because on the same day I filmed a music video for my Being Alone Means They're Sad and I put in all the clips in that iMovie folder and I didn't want to confuse myself so I deleted the video. So basically this vlog is gonna be a little storytelling style. I want to relive the footage I can relive. The ones I couldn't, I'm just gonna be popping up photos on the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. The places I couldn't relive included the Christmas at Kenwood. So basically at night, at around 4.30, lots of Christmas lights that lit up. I actually took loads of photos, so I'm gonna be like popping them on a screen. And it was really beautiful. And my friend and I went together. And we wish we had a better camera because the photos didn't look really nice. And then another experience I didn't relive is Kenwood House. I could have went again, but I don't really want to because I flew my drone there. So I'm going to insert a drone clip and tell you guys about the history of Kenwood House. Kenwood House is a former stately home in Hampstead on the northern boundary of Hampstead Heath. The house was originally constructed in the 17th century and served as a residence for the Earls of Mansfield during the 18th and 19th centuries. The house and part of the grounds were bought from the 6th Earl of Mansfield in 1925, 1st Earl of Ilia, and donated to the nation in 1927. The entire estate came under ownership of the London County Council and was open to the public by the end of the 1920s. It remains a popular local tourist attraction. The original house was presumed to have been built around 1616 by John Bill and was known as Conwood House. It was acquired in 1694 by the Surveyor General of Ordnance, William Bridges, who demolished the house and rebuilt it. The original brick structure remains intact under the facade added in the 18th century, and the orangery was added in about 1700s. Bridges sold the house in 1704 and it went under several owners until 1754. It was bought by the future Earl of Mansfield, William Murray. In 1764, Murray commissioned Robert Adam to remodel the house. Adam was given complete freedom to design it as he chose. He added the library, one of his most famous interiors, to balance the orangery and accommodate Lord Mansfield's extensive book collection. He also designed the Ionic portico at the entrance. In 1718, the house became a permanent residence. Following the Earl's death in 1793, ownership passed to his nephew David Murray. 2nd Earl of Mansfield. He commissioned an extension of the property, initially by Robert Naismith, then by George Saunders. Saunders added two wings on the north side, along with the offices, kitchen buildings, and brewery to the side. And that is all the time I've got to tell you about the history of Kenwood House. Hope you enjoyed listening. And my friend and I also went to Spaniard Inn and the Holy Bush. We just visited it. 
black explaining up in I had a mushroom risotto and my friend had a pork belly. So I'm currently walking past this church. It is called the Hempstead Hill Church. There's actually a everyman cinema here. Oh, it's not open. I've arrived at Bellside Park and the reason why this is on my list is because there are actually lots of famous people that live around here. For example, Helena Bonham Carter and Tim Burton lived here. This is a famous telephone booth in Hampstead High School. Last time, my friend and I didn't actually buy anything from this booth. So this time, I want to try their hot chocolate. I got the Rocky Rose plate. Just so you know, the telephone booth that sells this chocolate is actually open from Thursday to Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5. Also, the guy who is serving me gave me this Rocky chocolate. So last time, my friend and I came here, and last time I got the ham and cheddar, but this time I got a double because they said that's the most filling. So this is my lunch. I'm gonna take a photo. Last time my friend and I also went to this Keith Antiques bookshop. We also had a tiramisu in a shop around the corner. This is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And I'll see you all with another traveling vlog or music related with you. Bye!